Hey, I'm going to walk you through how to do this um, right now. I'm so sorry it took, it took me so long. Um, there's two variations of this. Um, and again, if you already figured this out, ignore this video. One is where the um, you fill out the form, and then the form gets uh, immediately immediately upon submission shuttled to the um, the person that you were observing. The other way of doing it is um, the ability to email people directly from the spreadsheet, which um, can be useful just for efficiency if you're going through the results. So it's all based in the settings. So I'm going to go through and do it from scratch. I'm going to start a generic um, uh, form, which is just going to have the basic elements that you need to have. Um, rather than working off one of yours, you can just go and, and repeat this process. So the first thing I'm going to go to do is I'm going to go to Google Docs and I'm going to create a form. So I'm going to call this a Heidi form emailer tutorial. So you're going to put in all the different th types of things you want to you want to put in. So you might want to get their name, okay? Um, all different types of stuff. Obviously, you need to get their email. And what I suggest doing is making this a drop down um, and going and preloading all the emails um, first. So you want to make it choose from list and you'd preload with all the emails of the people that you might be observing. So let's go ahead and put my email in ramsey.solemn at gmail.com. Okay, so now you're going to go through and do all your other stuff. Okay, so this is insert um, something. You know, so maybe this is, these are all paragraph text boxes. Who knows? This could be anything you want. But the basic elements I need is I need the name of the person, first and last. You need their email, for sure. And you definitely, obviously, are going to have some things you put. Scalar quantities, paragraph text, whatever. Um, sometimes I like to go up here and change the edit confirmation. But you don't have to do that. So now I'm going to go back to my Google Docs. And I'm going to find this form that I made. It's going to be down here somewhere. Where are you? This always happens to me sometimes. Um, what did I call it? I need to, s I saved it. Heidi form emailer. I misspelled her name. Maybe it's not liking me because I did that. Form emailer. There it is. Okay, so here's the spreadsheet. So once you are now in the spreadsheet, you are going to insert a script okay. and the script is called form emailer and you got to go form emailer no space capital E for it to come up perfectly and choose this first one here and you're gonna hit install and you just wait okay now it says installed click authorize click close okay and then you close out of this okay. now notice the top here there's something here that says form emailer so you click on that and you click install again okay. and then you say install you keep saying install to everything it's kind of ridiculous so now if you notice at the bottom, there are two sheets. There's sheet one, and then there's one that says form emailer right there. So you can ignore this sheet here. So I'm going to go up to form emailer now, and I'm going to go to settings. So this is where we're going to create a stock email that the, the, uh, the person will receive every time. Okay. So the sender name. I want to do this here, Heidi Harrison. Okay. Two. Okay. You go up here and you choose the placeholder of the person's email, and then you click Insert Placeholder. So this will send the email directly to whoever you are observing at the time, or whoever chooses their email there. Okay. Subject, you might want to say Observation Report. You can do whatever you want here. Okay. 
get rid of this HTML body here. And now we're going to put um, anything we want in here. So I'm going to say hi, and I'm going to choose the name. And sometimes this would be good to choose first name. So I'll say hi, and then I'm going to insert the placeholder. The placeholder button down here is for everything that goes in the body of the email. So hi, name. Okay. And I'll say below is your observation report. Okay. And then this is where I'm going to choose, in this case, it was insert something. But I can go through and put placeholders for all of the columns in the spreadsheet that represent the body of the observation. Okay. In this case, it was just this one column something. And I'll say, uh, thanks, Heidi. So what this will do is the sender will get an email from Heidi Harrison. The person that will get it is the person who, um, whose email is whatever email you chose. It's going to say observation report. Okay. Um, it's going to say hi, whoever's name filled out that column. Um, and then whatever is in the observation report is going to go there. I press save. Now you want them to get this email immediately after you press submit. So I'm going to go up here to Tools, and I'm going to go to Script Manager. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go here to Tools. I'm going to go Script Editor. Okay, And I'm going to go to uh, Resources, Current Script Triggers. Okay, And I'm going to add a trigger. Okay, And I'm going to make this trigger time driven I'm going to click time driven actually I'm going to say from the spreadsheet on form submit okay so this means that the person will receive it once they submitted the form okay so let's go through and let's test it out so I'm going to go to this live form here so I'm observing somebody, and this person's name is Ramsey, and I choose their email. There it is, and it's like, Ramsey, you are a crappy teacher. Get with it, dude. So I hit submit. Okay. So I'm going to go now to my email and see if, we, if I got that email, if I received that email. So hopefully I did. Did not receive the email yet. Let's go. We can go and look in the form, and it'll actually tell you field does not exist. So I think I made a mistake here. Let's go through and let's go through and see. This is good for you to see. So I'm gonna go to the settings. So I'm going to take this out again, and I'm going to insert it in again. Email. Okay, I think I messed with this pound sign earlier, and I think that might have did it. So let's go through, and let's see if that did the trick. One sec. I'm recording a screencast here for Heidi Hurst. Okay. Come on, come on. So I put your name in Heidi, and then I say, Ramsey, you are a crappy teacher, blah, 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 blah. So I hit submit. OK, so now let's go see if that did it. So now I go, and there it is. So I received this email, observation report. It says, hi, Heidi. Now this should have said, hi, Ramsey. I should have put in, uh, oh, it says, what? Was that the first name I put in? Let's do this again real quick, really quick. Form, format, uh, go to left form. OK, Ramsey, hi, Ramsey. And then blah, 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 submit. So there it is. Okay, hi Ramsey, blows your observation report, blah, 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 blah. So this could be anything you want it to be. If you had 10 columns with scalar quantities and Likert scales and all kinds of stuff, you would just keep inserting those placeholders. Um, so that's how you do it. Uh, give me a call if you have any questions.